thing on. Testing. All right. Hey guys, my name's Rigo and welcome to my channel. I got a couple things uh, planned for this channel. Mostly it's going to be just for the entertainment of you guys. Um, let you look a little bit into my life, uh, what goes on, day-to-day -day activities. Um, I got three vehicles. Uh, I have the Hellcat, which most of you guys know as Camo Cat. Um, my wife has an Intimidator SS. Uh, it's full bolt-on. I'll take you guys through um, a list of mods and uh, maybe ask you guys what you're looking forward to see. And I also have a Duramax. It's full bolt-on also. So, um, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get a look into the mods of the cars. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's my first time. And Maria's laughing at me behind the screen. <laughs> so, I'm going to take you outside. We're going to go through the list of mods on each car, which would be the Camo Cat, the Intimidator SS and the high country duramax i also have one more vehicle but that was my high school truck um i blew we blew the rear end in it that's for another story uh late night shenanigans but um here's also a cool thing uh my wife and i uh went to uh, most of you guys know my wife her name's marie she'll be on the camera later so most of you guys um know if you follow me on snapchat that we went to a car show in jail which is close by um, I just barely bought uh, some rims for the Intimidator SS. My wife um, didn't know about it. I surprised her there's a video coming on that. So uh, we went ahead and slapped the rims on this morning. Um, and um, um, um. <laughs> so we went ahead and slapped the rims on this morning. We were cutting it super close. We ended up getting there like an hour late uh, to the car show. But we still made it in time to get judged and everything. And good news, Camel Cat one first in its class and Marie first car show in the Intimidator SS also won uh, best in class so let's go ahead and go outside and I'll take you through a list of these mods and we'll go back from there well, all right guys <laughs> so we're back first set of mods is going to be on the Intimidator SS um, it's been ceramic coated um, it's had paint correction done to it. We actually just barely got these wheels done or put on like I talked to you before 22 inch uh, reps of a Z28 Camaro uh, fifth gen so it's got a 2-4 drop Which for most of you that for some of you that don't know is four inches in the back two inches in the front So we're gonna go ahead and see what's all done to it <clears throat> This is a 2006 Intimidator SS. It's Pretty rare, actually. Um, this one came with a certificate of authenticity. Um, they only actually made 933 of them, and this is number 100. We got a steal on it. We actually bought it in Amarillo. Um, that's how we ended up meeting Misa and David and Kevin. Long story for another video, but the truck had 60,000 miles on it when we bought it. And now it currently has, I don't know if you can see that, 66,599. So it's getting up there. Um, we'll turn it on for you guys here in a bit. But let's pop the hood and we'll, I'll go through the rundown of what you got. <clears throat> so we're going to see what this bad boy's got. Excuse the music in the background. I don't know if you can hear the name are washing the car to some back in black ACDC so but yeah this is pretty much all that's done to the truck so it's got an SNB cold air intake cold air intake um, it also has headers uh, they change the plug wires it's pretty much full bolt-on headers intake tune exhaust and uh, it also has a cam um, I'll go ahead and start the truck so that way y'all can hear what that sounds like doesn't really chop too crazy, but we'll see what it does. A little walkthrough of it. Oh, where are you going? Don't hide from me. <laughs> Camera may not do it any justice. I don't know what the quality, sound quality is going to be like on this, but yeah, this is pretty much it. Reason said it was 
restricted airflow maybe so I don't know about all that I ain't no performance guy but I'm not very good at much you can ask my wife she will vouch for that so next we have the Duramax and this is my 2016 Duramax High Country it's super dirty right now this is the kind of the tow pig um, just the tow pig really just everyday daily use can't really daily that you could but gets kind of annoying with the cam and then got camo cap but um, this this vehicle actually I just like had paper plates on it we drove to Alabama to pick it up um, got a super good deal on it about I don't know twelve eleven thousand dollars cheaper than what you can get it for around here so we me and my wife we got plane ticket me and Marie we um, flew over there one-way ticket and we ended up driving it back so that's another story just subscribe and we'll get into all the details but it's just your basic truck oh I have to blur that out anyways that's McAllister's but you know just your basic camel brown leather screen now you gotta have the radar detector when you do uh, hood rat stuff with your friends so this truck actually when we brought it back still had paper plates I did um, full bolt-ons on it which for a diesel you don't have to really do much to get a lot out of it so current mods full exhaust uh, five inch from the turbo back um, it also is uh, let me open this and get this for y'all so super dirt super dirty underneath here too so what's going on here is we got uh, aftermarket up pipe down pipe Y bridge and whirly fab intake all of it is from whirly fab um, it's got the def delete you know the whole baloney so full bolt-ons pretty much and let me go ahead and show you the tip that's on this bad boy some may say I'm compensating for something else others just may say hey nice tip so yeah this here sucker could suck in a little dribbler's basketball right in and you'd never even notice if you got that try it so last but not least what most of you guys have been wanting to see is the camel cat um just pretty much your basic stuff not nothing crazy just wrapped um, camouflage red camouflage most of you are familiar with this car um, if you're not stay tuned there's gonna be a lot going else into it it's actually gonna go in uh, December or January hopefully with and get some better mods done to it but yeah we got this done at Texas 2k or no not 2k um, we got this done at where Mopar so you got your classic little camo cat baloney whatever don't hate me for that let me take you inside get a look at the peanut butter guts baby so yeah it actually had the black suede seats uh suede and leather but dave uh was he was in a bind he was needing some money bad i mean the guy was just honestly just trying to eat that's david van boris if you don't know who i'm talking about I said look man offered him a good deal for it and uh, he accepted it now he rides with aluminum can seats in his car also known as kirkies but i don't know what's really going on with him <laughs> But yeah, this is pretty much it. Hellcat, 20,000 miles. <laughs> oh, that hurts me so much. Um, you know what it is, man trans, three pedal gang. You can't bang gears in a skirt, you know what I mean, Dave? Kevin? And uh, yeah, let me take you through an actual rundown of what's all done to the car. It's pretty basic, makes some decent power. Um, if you know what kind of power it makes, you know, you know. I'll just tell you it's in the 800s uh, to the wheels. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Had to clean it up a little bit. So, we'll start from the basic mods. Um, you know, anytime you get a car, you have to knock this out, first of all. So, we got an LMI intake, and it's got a catless mid pipes. It also has um, catless mid pipes, it's got a muffler delete. It's got methanol injection with a spray nozzle here and a spray nozzle back there. I don't know if you can see that. Gates belt, B Woody idler, um, 265 upper. 
So yeah, pretty much basic mods. Um, made high 700s torque, mid 800s uh, wheel horsepower. And I'll go ahead and give you a little start of this. See what it sounds like. You know what you got right here. Give it a little shake. One, two. If you shake it more than that, you're just playing with it, honestly. So two shakes and then you just hold this button. I also put a couple new stickers on the vehicle. Um, there was a guy that was making stickers at the car show that we were at. So I got your classic, you know, must be nice, illustrious auto styling. Shout out to Misa. It won me a trophy plaque today. And then this one um, I thought was pretty funny. It's an ongoing joke between me, David, uh, Kevin. Uh, I'm not very good at the drag strip when it comes to digs, so rolls are my thing. It's a stick car, independent rear suspension, so you can imagine how painful that is to try and launch that thing. No 4K dumps. I snapped an axle completely off into the differential, but went ahead and caught this sticker, so let me know if you're trying to, you know, catch a 40. Says, bakery is open, dot, dot, rolls. So if you're trying to catch a roll, hit me up. I prefer 60. 40 you know honestly whatever you want so that's pretty much gonna be it guys uh, for now I'm going to close everything oh here's the little deal that we won I also I got one Marie also got one for the Intimidator SS her first car show so we're gonna go on from there I think I'm gonna end the video right here um, I don't have really nothing else much to say so those are the vehicles got the Intimidator got camo cat and then you got the high country all right guys so you saw a tour of peewee's playhouse or peewee's garage <laughs> i'm just kidding uh as my garage not really a garage we have a carport hashtag working on the garage uh broke boy life but let me guys know what you want to see maybe in the future um we have a lot of different things that we do with the vehicles we go to car shows um, we have Mexico activities with the Hellcat. We also haven't raced the Duramax and the Intimidator SS with the upgraded mods. Marie's shaking her head in the background, but I can handle the L. So, guys, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe if you want to. Uh, there's plenty more content. Uh, we got crazy lives. We absolutely do nothing. But... We'll just take you into what we do uh, when we go on vacation. We travel a lot. Uh, we've been to Hawaii. We've been to the Dominican. Uh, we've been a bunch of different places. So we'd like for you guys to follow us along in our journey through life um, with vehicles and just day-to-day -day activities. And we will catch you guys in the next one.